literally tomfoolery. I can't say anything else. That is tomfoolery at its finest. That's all it is. Crap! Just built different. Group is insane. Especially if I can say Jess and Golden Giraffe are a duo. Like, they give me, I I don't know, they give me Jack and Jorius vibes. Like, you can just see them everywhere doing everything together. Have the connection, apparently. They're on point. It's a beautiful beat by Gillen Giraffe to get it to the midfield, and Jess is gonna send that one home. Going into week one, our mindset was great because we were going in for fun. Oh, we qualified. Let's go. We were excited. And we're finishing week one, two and oh, and we're technically first on the leaderboard, although we're the only team that's 2-0. Oh. <laughs> and that just, that was just surprising to me. Like, I don't think that could have gone any better. And I feel like that kind of put us on the radars. Like, hey, we're not the same team that we've been in months past. We're better, we're here to play. You know, we're gonna give some of these top teams a tough time. Obviously, like, Contagious Tom Fuller may be the most quiet on this Suzuki team, but they are almost the most vital. I honestly don't remember feeling of going into any particular week, uh, other than just, you know, excitement, because I got to play with my teammates. Uh, but, you know, obviously there's a bit of nervousness. Although, I will say that always gets trumped by the knowledge that I get to have some fun. Like, I, I just looked forward to every Saturday, every week of the season close games, uh, but I don't, do ultimately think Syzygy will take it, but we'll see what the teams are able to do on the pitch as they are jumping in and get ready. Terran, Snoozy, and Gargle coming in for Prestige with Jess, Contagious, Tom Fleury, and Golden Giraffe on the other side. Week 7 against Prestige, I think, was one of the hardest series uh, I've ever played this season. And going into that game, I honestly wasn't prepared for what they brought against us. Game one, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at Prestige at the start of the series, and I'm thinking this is not an easy win. You know, they may be like in seventh grade place um, on the season but they're a hard team for us to play against. They know how to play against us. This is going to be a really hard matchup. And I was right, they came out swinging in game one. Like five seconds into game two, and then another kickoff goal right after that. And then a couple minutes later, another goal was scored. And by that it was like 3-0. And I was getting a little nervous. I kind of felt deflated a little bit. And I remember Jess just saying, we got this, we can do it. And I thought to myself, all right, it's one goal at a time, one game at a time. We got it. And we got overtime. And I remember that that was probably one of the most nervous overtimes I've ever played. <laughs> we won that series 3-1. That was just an insane series. I was so hyped after that. That was a fun series. Prestige is one of my favorite teams in the league. Uh, they're so much fun to play with and against, um, but the monster of a comeback in game two is kind of what kept this going, kept that momentum going, and the fact that everyone was so involved. It's week nine, we haven't won a series since that prestige series, and we're basically in a win and in scenario. Um, in the end, we fell both a goal short and a game short of making playoffs. <sighs> and, uh, <laughs> It stings, you know, when you get a goal away or a game away from, you know, one of your dreams. That kind of <laughs> hurts. You know, you went through basically like two and a half months worth of work, plus like grinding with a team, in our case, for like eight months prior, just to fall a game or a goal short. You know, that'll that'll leave you a lot of questions of like, you know, why weren't we good enough? Uh, leave you with a lot of doubts. Robbed, for lack of a better word. Not that the other teams that made playoffs didn't deserve it. That's not it at all. They absolutely did. I mean, it was a fun season for a reason. There was so much competition. Uh, it's more so that, you know, I wish I had more time to practice, uh, more time in the day. Uh, 
kind of, I think I lingered on thoughts of what I could have personally done better during the season. Probably should have done more Captain A stuff. Um, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, I mean, I honestly just couldn't wait to get back to playing with my two favorite teammates. Because, uh, I mean, just random nights of just stupid stuff, stupid fun stuff uh, is always just a blast. Take the loss and you just run with it and make that your motivation to get that game. The early series, the fact that these teams have been there for each other on the rotations, but you're running away from the net!